Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing episode three of Name This Spread and if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. <music> So I want you to fix this in your mind. I know it's very complex and probably very difficult to remember all of the elements, but I did write the shout outs on this side. So like we've been doing in the videos, I will be, I just did the brief intro. I'm going to be doing the shout outs. I'll show you who the YouTube random generator gods have chosen as the director of this week's spread, and then we'll just get right into it. So this was uh, posted on the 5th of December. And so these are the comments from there. Miss Donna L had actually gone through a series of names. So first she called it Tiptoe Through the Tulips, but there's no tulips. So then she called it that time of the month, but that just wasn't quite right. And so she called it the Baird Patch because it's very minimal on the flowers. Betsy O had called this barely their flower garden. Luann had called this driving Miss Daisy crazy. <laughs> And I actually really like that more so because I was practicing before I started filming like don't mess that up don't mess that up because it's a bit of a tongue twister hello miss Wanda and the fam hello miss Erin with oh my goals hello mo with better late than broke Amanda R had called this simply thankful Lily the bun had called this an attitude of gratitude and that's because uh, this was meant to be a gratitude journal style where you leave as much space as you can in order to do the writing and that was inspired by Colleen because that's how she uses hers. Uh, Mimi from Make Up Your Plan had called this California Dreamin' again with the songs but I like this one. Uh, I like the mamas and the papas. There might actually be a more updated version but when I see California Dreamin' that's the song I hear from them and I'll link it below. Miss Colleen from New Jersey had called this stop and smell the flowers. Victoria F had called this wild flowers because it reminded her of a Tom Petty song and I will link that in the description box as well. I had never heard it but the melody is very relaxing and the words are just beautiful. I just loved it. So thank you Victoria. I I don't generally listen to Tom Petty, uh, and so I don't know that I ever would have come across that, but that was just such a beautiful song. Uh, Miss Andy had called this Flower Power, and she had said it reminded her of a Charmed episode, you know, the one of the three witches who were sisters, where they travel back to the 70s to meet the younger version of Grams, who is, I'm assuming, Patty Hallowell. They're the Hallowell sisters. Angela I had called this Floral Horizon, and she had, well, actually, we'll come back to that. Uh, Mary W. had called this Secret Garden, and she had referenced both the movie and the books. Now, I have seen various versions of the Secret Garden movie, and I, I like them all, but I have never actually read the book, so I might have to put that on my list. Although I have tons of books that are actually on my list, and I actually have, that, uh, yeah... I'm not really into reading these days. <laughs> Annette um, had called this Gives Me Caribbean Vibes Mon. And those were the titles, or those were the, what you guys had named this spread for last week. And the YouTube random generator gods had chosen Mimi as uh, the director of this week's video which is right here. And so she had um, chosen um, for her direction that she wanted me to do something in a bag with all pink. And I'm actually going to be combining some of the ideas from the various videos, but that's gonna be our jumping off point. Andy had wanted to see something with doodles and Mary W had wanted to see something in a hobo, 
Hobonichi Weeks style. Now back to, where'd it go? Oh, Angela I. She had wanted to see something in a mini spread by way of a no white space challenge. I have never done a no white space challenge, so that won't be featured in this video, but I'm thinking of doing another one of these before next week's Saturday, because I can do these as often as I'd like, and just do like a bonus name this spread, or just like a bonus challenge video. I have been challenged to, to attempt this, and I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. Now, I would imagine, based on no white space videos that I've seen here on YouTube, that it would need to be in a vertical. Now, I have tons of Happy Notes papers, so I can figure that out. So you might be seeing a challenge video where Angela I has challenged me and I have accepted. No, you're going to see that. I just don't know when. <laughs> I know, kind of, kind of random squirrel moment, but yeah. Now, I wanted to mention that because... I believe it was Luann. It might have been Annette. But um, one of them had said they wanted to see something in a big because they didn't know I had a big. Well, um, I don't. Not, not in the way that you may think. Uh, I have big Happy Notes paper. I have actually all the sizes of paper, and so therefore I can make all of the Happy Planner layouts. I, I can configure it, not a problem. And that kind of ties into what we're going to be doing this week. So this is a big Happy Notes that I've had in my stash. It actually still has the little thing here, and it actually will work perfectly because we're going to be doing a big spread and we're going to be doing it all pink like Mimi had requested. She didn't pick a layout, so we're going to go with, oh, and I put it away already, but I believe it was Mary who wanted to see something by way of a Hobonichi Weeks and Andy who wanted to see something with doodles. So we're going to combine all of those things. And we're also going to sort of give this a name or a function. All right, so we're going to name this by way of function, so that gives us some direction. It's going to be a Hobonichi Weeks inspired layout in all pink with some doodles in a big happy planner size. Yeah, that's some um, kind of title, but I, I hope that it helps you see that, you know, you may not have the skinny classic or the mini or the skinny classic. If you have any size happy planner happy notes you can make whatever it is that you want so i'm going to take out two sheets and i actually did some testing here for the hobonichi weeks style uh, to get all seven days in the horizontal on one page um, it comes out to roughly about a, an inch and a half uh, spacing to get all seven days so I'm going to take out two pages and I'm really hoping everything maintains in frame. I don't generally work on something this large, so I'm not 100% sure. All right, so we are going to do it um, in as traditional Hobonichi week style as we can by way of it's going to be a week on the left side and then this will be something else again we're going to direct this in a sort of social media and um, business and again it for me it helps me figure out how I want to do a layout on the page when I know what it is that it might be for I'm not actually going to be using this now you could use this in any way that you wanted to but I'm, I'm hoping that it helps I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to mark some registration points. And because I want this to be like a Hobonichi, actually, I want to do my registration marks over here because it definitely will be Hobonichi inspired, but there's some things that I want to go on over here. So I'm gonna do the first one at the zero, and then one and a half, and it is slightly off, and so I will go to the dot that is closest to. And I'll mark that out.
<laughs> and I just realized I didn't have to keep moving <laughs> the ruler. Okay. And I think I'm going to leave that side open, but I will use the ruler to make nice straight lines. You guys know I generally prefer a more freeform style, but I think because we're doing something inspired by something that is very linear, it makes more sense to do it this way. All right, so we have that on the page, and the reason why I left that is because I want to add some color down here in a wash. It doesn't bleed through, but it does buckle a little bit, which is fine. Okay. And then I actually wanna do the same on this side, but down this way. It doesn't need to be exactly the same, but it does give it some nice dynamic if it's roughly <laughs> the same. Now, Happy Planner paper is not meant for this much saturation. So there might be some pilling on here, but again, that's fine. Um, to me, I love the texture and the buckling does not bother me at all. All right, so this is our functional week and this is actually going to be the 13th through something. So let me put some days down just so we can map this out. Because again, even though I'm not using it, that doesn't mean that it can't look functional, just to give you guys an idea of how this can work. Okay, so I used stickers um, that I had ordered, or day stickers that I had ordered from Lux, Lux Clever Crafts. And I had used numbers from this Happy Memory Keeping. I've shown you guys this before. And you might have noticed something. I didn't put a timer on today. And that's because I'm currently on my lunch break and I just wanted to play. So I'm not as tired as I would be at the end of the day. I am watching the time though, because I actually still need to eat lunch. <laughs> But I really have been thinking about this for um, a while this morning because I did the whole uh, random thing first thing this morning before I started work. And so, yeah, I've been thinking about it. And I misspoke. It is Monday the 14th of December through Sunday the 20th of December. Just to make it look like something and now we're going to get into some stickers i chose this one because there's lots of elements of pink in here and this is um, a sticker book that was gifted to me by my friend christy and any of the channels or any of the people that i've mentioned in this video i will link them in the description box below so definitely go and check that out and so we do want to stay to an all pink theme So we'll keep some of these in reserve. Now what will make this a little challenging is that the size is so big. But I, I definitely think we can work around that. And I mean, I've already added elements of black, so I could certainly do something like that if I wanted to. So down here, Let's add this one. And I'll get my thin pen. And so the director of this video is Mimi and co-directors is Mary W and Andy 
And the theme is Hobonichi Weeks. Inspired all pink with doodles in the big. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had to use such a small pen. Now, we're gonna give this more oomph by just doing a loose trace around it. And I think that's how we're gonna be able to get away with using smaller stickers in such a large layout. Is by doing stuff like this. And uh, before we, I show you the final, I'll go ahead and, and uh, kind of color that in just to make it pop a little bit more. I'm not going to do anything right here for now. And then we need to, to do some things over here. Oh, this is um, my take is social media and or business because you might do one and, and not the other, but we're going to kind of direct ourselves in that way. And let's see if there's some big stickers. I don't wanna bring any of the floral element from the sticker book. do this here. The pinks don't necessarily go, but that's fine. That's nice and that's nice, but that's not what we're doing. I'm going to use these two because I do want a long list going that way. So we'll put this right here. And in my mind, these have functions, so they're not just random for decorations. I'll put this on the wall because I'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out. And then I think Yeah, because I like these, but I don't have any of the long ones left. And so I think we'll go with this. And we'll turn it around so that these scallops now become like bullets. this one down here. You're probably wondering what's going on here, but we'll, we'll get to that. So, and then we've got here. All right, let's give these things names. This will be Instagram. And this will be 
Facebook. This will be Pinterest. And then I'm just basing off the titles off of things that I've done in the past when I, I did track social media and business. This will be for YouTube. And we just need to find something small. Just because everything else has a little sticker attached to it. We could do something here. Kind of like this. And this will be the blog. Now I thought we would outline in black like we did on this side, and I think to tie the two pages, we'll do that around this one. We don't necessarily need it, but I don't want this to just look super random. I mean, this probably looks super random. <laughs> Alright, so we've got those boxes just sort of to tie in the things. I don't like it here. I think I could have executed it better here, but it really just receded into the page and so I wanted to do something to make it pop but also use the space. So yeah, I'm going to use this here. And we're going to do some quick doodling. All right, so that one's done, <laughs> like I said. Quick, and we'll do just one here. And to me, I, I didn't look at anything, and I should have, so I'm just making little squigglies. Honestly, they look like popcorn to me. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. Now, um, that's not how popcorn is made. <laughs> but I think it looks visually interesting. So I wanted to do the kind of color wash behind it. As 
so you can see there's no really rhyme or reason. I'm just trying to make it like a cone shape, which I think is actually really pretty. And we'll do some, and then a little squiggly. All right, so we're gonna add some elements here just to give it a little bit of pop. Not by doodling, but I wanted to bring that aspect in. And I think we'll go back to, oh no, we can bring some of those bows in. Maybe can we do one down here? So that's cute. to use those kind of drapey things. The, they look like duster balls or dusty balls. <laughs> These things. Thursday isn't as busy with tasks. I'm horrible at hanging these things. Well, that's not too bad. And let's do one up in the corner here. look kind of good coming out that way. Oh, I should have used the the post cuz then it'll look Somewhat the same. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to do some things down here. Again, I don't want to detract from my flowers. And do this. She's magic. Alright guys, I went on radio silent because I was figuring out what I wanted to do over here uh, because the, uh, the theme of this is for social media and business. I want it to be as functional as it can be, although it is very highly decorative if on, it's not, well I guess if you're looking at minimal by way of Happy Planner standards, then it's very minimal because there's not very many colors on the page. It definitely is not neutral because of all of the pops of pink but it is very functional and this you could definitely scale down into a classic a mini a skinny classic i don't think you could do it in the skinny mini just because there just wouldn't be size but if you have happy notes you can make it into any planner style that you want to i think this really works um, from Hobonichi Week standpoint because there is lots of space to write lists if you're like me and you are a list maker. Although if you were more of like a note taker 
or if you wrote big, this definitely still is enough space. You would just want to place your stickers accordingly. Because for me, this kind of breaks it down into potentially one or three different lists if I were going to use it. And that's plenty of space. This gives me targeted areas for things I want to track either by way of metrics, by way of posts, by way of whatever. But these are things that I were tracking in the past. So that's what I use. If you only do Instagram and YouTube, if you do uh, Pinterest and a blog, um, you could also do this um, things to buy, uh, chores for the week, days of gratitude. I mean, you don't have to turn it into a social media, but it helps me figure out placement and naming things when I give blank paper a name, if that makes any sense. All right, guys. Well, I would love to know what you would name this spread which is for the 14th of December through this Sunday or the 20th of December, which is Sunday. I'm hungry. So that's where my words are going. And then also in your comment, if you could tell me what you would like to see in next week's video uh, by way of size, by way of style, by way of layout, that's all up to you. Uh, definitely leave me a comment below. And as always, guys, Aloha.